Welcome to Euro PCR 2025. My name is Dr. Ho. I'm working at Zhuar Hospital in China. And I'm, I have pleasure um, with Professor Wei, who's a cardiac surgeon and a professor at Zhongshan Hospital uh, Cardiothoracic Department. Today we're talking about one year TFJ J valve uh, AR um, uh, multi center uh, result. Um, we, as we all know, AR is, seems more common than reported uh, in, uh, compared to North America and the European country in China. Uh, particularly, one of the studies from China is they call the China DVD, uh, DVD study, which is per perspective multi center cohort study. They studied uh, about 9,000 patients in hospital aging more than 60 years, found AR seems more than uh, more popular than AS patient. Although the exactly uh, epidemiology data is still not still lacking, and uh, AR indeed by several other study finding uh, also slightly higher than AS in China patient population, uh, valve popula population. Professor Wei, um, you did this such excited study. Um, I'd like to. Um, ask you um, why you initiate this study. So Yes, uh, because we have started our uh, TA uh, transepical uh, clinical trial uh, for JVAL uh, about 10 years ago and achieve a good result. And this is the second generation of uh, JVAL and the transfemoral one. So uh, two year, three years ago, we start our clinical trial for this TF version and uh, get good results. So, so I reported in uh, this year's uh, uh, Europe PCR. Yeah. Clearly you have rich experience from transepical yes. JVAL. Compare with transepical JVAL, now you move to the transfemoral version. Mm -hmm. What's the difference, key point, about this two uh, version of uh, tower devices? Yes, the sheath of the TA uh, version is a little big, so uh, we should still uh, make a small incision in the left chest, but this uh, uh, TF uh, version is very small, and the delivery system is also uh, is, uh, range from uh, 18 to 22 French, so it will reduce the trauma of the procedure, uh, and uh, the result is also very good. Yeah. I heard the valve can cover quite a bit uh, parameter uh, annular size, mm -hmm. uh, the largest to go to one or four. You know, based on your um, study, could you please tell us a little bit the what kind of patient that you do this kind of, uh, you know, mainly dealing with the, what kind of AR patient? Yes, we we, uh, we enrolled uh, 127 patients uh, uh, in 18 uh, uh, in 18 sites in the mainland China, and uh, all of them are forbidden uh, uh, surgical forbidden or high risk patients and uh, uh, moderate to severe or severe aortic regurgitation patient. And uh, the, according to the CT scan, the uh, the mean uh, annulus. Uh, parameter is 18 uh, is 81 uh, millimeter and uh, about 27 patient uh, the parameter is over uh, 85 uh, millimeter so it's a very big annulus uh, population uh, such large annulus yes. clearly is not covered by contemporary of label devices yes so regarding the um, how you test uh, how you run this study? This is what's about the patient uh, basic uh, characteristics, yes. and you elaborate the one or two. Yes, the patient, the, the average, uh, the mean age of the patient is uh, uh, seventy-four years old, and the mean SS score was uh, six point one. Yeah. What's the main study funding? Um, yeah. Yeah, the, okay. the uh, procedure, uh, the, the mortality, the death rate is zero, and uh, no acute uh, 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 MI, and uh, no uh, major bleeding, and the uh, pacemaker rate is only 9% uh, at uh, 30 days and 12% uh, at one year. It's a very good result compared with the other uh, device for AR. As we all know, all the trials, terror trials, people uh, recorded hemodynamic. Mm -hmm. How about hemodynamic in your uh, population, this study cohort? 
Yes, at one year, the main gradient of the aortic valve uh, is only 8, 8.4. Uh, and uh, the EOA, the mean uh, EOA is 2.1. And uh, the left uh, ventricle remodeling uh, is very significant. And uh, the both the RV EDD and the RV ESD decreased uh, significantly. Yeah, and I the quality of the life is improved. Great, such fantastic, excellent uh, clinical data results. And also you, you, uh, you elaborate, you see the hemodynamically, they have a high, um, higher EOA and a lower grading uh, and the persistent for the whole year, plus very positive remodeling, and which directly translate to clinical patient that appears. KCQ, very good, and MIH, very good. So what's the next step? Yes, uh, we were, uh, uh, I believe that we will get approval by Chinese, the Chinese FDA about uh, no more than one year, and uh, we will continue to uh, use this uh, device for more patients. And uh, I wish next year or the, uh, the we, will, uh, we will report our uh, further uh, result data in the Europe PCR. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Such fantastic data. You know, I heard I'm so excited, you know, looking forward to use this transfimeral version because I'm interventional uh, cardiologist, which we uh, have a board Europe PCR community can use these devices. Um, thank you again. Thank you.